-hmm. But celebs like Simon Cowell, they admit to using IV vitamin drips on a weekly basis at times to improve health. And, and it's really no different than the IV fluids we might give you if you come into the ER. Yeah, and the idea, the science behind it is that there were studies before that high doses of vitamin C given IV were actually um, more potent than if you just took vi high doses of vitamin C by mouth. Because that was actually refuted, and yeah. then the NIH came buck. back and said, no, you know, there actually may be potential in fighting cancers um, with high doses of vitamin C. So wow. that's where that stems from, but people are using this now to, you know, anti to uses of anti-aging, um, for just fertility. about any so, illness you can. Jim, I'm going to have to quote holds. your dad. Yeah. Show me the science. Yeah, because right. there isn't much. You know, I, I did an internet search to try to, you know, I typed in IV vitamin drips. And the only hits, I, and I scrolled down a lot of pages, are from websites I did not recognize. None right. of the universities. Not one sites. single yeah. valid website yeah. is out there promoting IV vitamin yeah. drips. Now, yes, it's going to be absorbed better because it goes straight into your bloodstream. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to get absorbed. Yes, right. you're going to get more bioavailability. But for anyone who takes vitamins, and this, I do, I take a multivite, take, but this whole concept this is, of, this of IV yeah. vitamin treatment, it's more psychological mm -hmm. than anything. Because yeah. we know you can only use X amount of vitamins. What you're not using are going to pee out. You're going to see it go bye-bye. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Or they can have, or um, they can have adverse reactions to, to mm -hmm. them. You can well. have we know that magnesium actually a, has you a, know, a lot of fat cardiotoxic so soluble effects. A, D, yeah. E, and K, you can overdose on uh -huh, fat soluble vitamins. Exactly, especially uh, A. Vitamins. It's dangerous. So, mm -hmm. so let's clarify. Here's what it is. We're not saying that if you're low on vitamin D, you shouldn't take a supplement. You need to talk with your doctor because you do need to supplement. We're not saying that if you're at risk for osteoporosis and not getting enough calcium in your diet, that you shouldn't take a calcium supplement. Mm -hmm. But as of right now, what we're saying is discuss any vitamin supplements that you're taking with your doctor. Mm -hmm. It's just like any other medicine.